Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and today I am on site, folks, but I'm on site for a different reason. This is the Flannery Operator Hotel and it's down the road, only 10 minutes from one of their major projects for HS2. A Flannery Operator Hotel, you say? What's that all about? Well, it's about bringing the community together. It's about bringing operators and other staff that have got to work away from home on this project together in one place. So that all of the facilities are here, folks. Great accommodation, great food, great opportunities to mix and work with each other, and also a place where you can relax. And we'll see uh, later on when I'm going to be interviewing some of the people using this hotel in the garden area. Very nice indeed. But fundamentally, this is where I think the industry needs to go. Creating spaces for a community feel where people are working together, can have their own individual space and rooms, feel comfortable and therefore are ready for the next day. No fatigue because you don't have to actually travel long distances, great comfort and also set up for operators and for the people that they're working with. So it's a great idea, it's a great part of the construction site now if you're a Flannery operator that is, and welfare for me is just so important. So let's go and have a look at the hotel, but also I'm going to be talking to other people in the garden area, folks, um, so that we can find out what they feel about staying here and actually being part of that community and that opportunity. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at the Flannery Operator Hotel. Here I am now actually in the outdoor garden area and it's a social area that you can see here with lots of places to sit and interact with people. And this is fundamental to me because when you are working away from home, away from your family perhaps, or long distance away from your friends, you really want somewhere where you can socialise, somebody where you can actually have fun outdoors or just sit outdoors, enjoy the sunshine and spend some time on your own, maybe even talking to those friends. But here is a place where you're not isolated if you don't want to be. And that's fundamental to me when we talk about mental health in this industry and when we also talk about community. People have to work together on site all the time and we have to have that sort of camaraderie and you get that when you're in a team here. But also you need your own time and that sort of mental health element to this operator hotel from Flannery is really positive for me because it has that ability to give people a nice environment that they can do things they want to do but also recognising that the support and the community is around them and they're not isolated. And so that's fundamental to the way in we need to change our attitude to how we look after our workforce in this industry. And for me, it's a great place to sit outside and have a chat. That's what I'm going to do with a few of the people that are using the hotel right now. I'm here with Chloe. Chloe, you are an operator for Flannery and you have actually been staying in their Flannery Operator Hotel since March. And now we're in June, folks, end of June. Really different for you, isn't it? Because you live at, at, up north uh, in Halifax and then all the way down here to south of Birmingham. But some accommodation, how far away is the, is the site from here? Literally five minutes, if that. Like, it's absolutely brilliant. It's just down the road. How's that working out for you, the whole facility and, and everything for you uh, operating down the road? It's really great. Like, you meet so many different people and, like, you'll chat about different work that's going on. You get to know what's going on in the area. Um, and you really just make friends whilst on the road. And so the accommodation itself, you know, People are used to living in various different places of various different standards, Chloe. What, what's it feel like to be in, in the hotel here? Um, it's almost home away from home. Like, everything's really nice. You can go speak to anyone. Everyone's so helpful. Um, the food's great. Or you can make your own food if that's what you prefer. Um, the facilities are great. Yeah, there's plenty of parking. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's just great, really. Like, it's home away from home. And so, amazing food, good company, five minutes down the road. What's been your biggest ever commute um, that you've had to do before? Um, from a house to a site, maybe just over four hours before. Wow. And now you've got five, six minutes. Yeah, If right. the traffic lights are, are the right way around, as they say. Yeah, literally, it is amazing. Like, I couldn't think of like a better site or a better setup than what we've got here at the minute. What are you actually doing day to day? 
Um, so I'm an ADT driver um, and we're currently just putting in access roads and haul roads and stuff like that at the minute so it's mostly just moving material about. It's such a flexible setup as to what you can do and everything like that. Wonderful to have a place like this, you know, a hotel for operators folks, um, where you can make new friends and, and find out what's going next, isn't it? Yeah, it is great and all I can say is come down and try it. Operators come from all different backgrounds and like to do different things and so I wanted to speak to another operator called Matthew. You've been straight on site today and now you're back at the Flannery Operator Hotel. First of all, what have you been doing? The machine I'm on at the moment is a 15 tonne but the last, over the last couple of weeks we've been driving 50, 50 tonners and um, things with eccentric rippers on the end and all sorts of incredible things like shaft sinkers and tons of, tons of awesome machines so that's, that's definitely keeping me happy. So you started your operator journey when you were 10 years old, folks. Uh, Dad's farm, wasn't it, um, in the UK? And, and then got your tickets. And, and what ended up being Flannery for you, as it were? I've always seen them on the motorways and things. They look like a big company and the right, right place to be. And um, as soon as I started, you know, obviously the, the contracts were massive. So you always seem to have work. Now you're, you're actually staying at one of the Flannery hotels for operators. They're really nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice hotels. Rooms are nice, food's very nice. Yeah, it's a good place to come after work. You're able to work really hard. You're able to take on extra work when you wanted to. And, and that's really important for you as a, from a flexibility perspective and monetary-wise, isn't it? Yeah, being able to do lots of different things, that, that definitely that appeals to me. It's, I, I like to keep all my skills sort of used uh, so I'm not just doing nothing. Um, and there's plenty to do, so it's it's a nice place for me to be, I think. The sense of community is, is really helpful. You know, a lot of the times you might think you want to spend some time on your own. You've got your room for that, but 90% of the time, everyone's out, everyone's about, and just talking to each other, and you get to know your mates, and it's, it's a really, it is a very nice place to work. So one of the people I obviously need to talk to is Patrick O'Leary, who actually runs this facility at the Flannery Operator Hotel. Tell me a little bit about the vision. With uh, operators being away from home, you know, it's... Uh, very important that they're comfortable and um, they're well looked after, and especially for new operators into the industry. Um, you know, they might not be familiar with working away from home, and this gives them that initial step to source a job and accommodation is taken care of for them. We have um, the main bar and restaurant, which operators are also welcome to um, to eat and dine in. In addition to that, we have main dedicated area, as if you know they want to come straight in from work and grab a meal and sit down straight away. And you're also welcoming in people from the community, which is important that those people sort of can mix together as well, isn't it? We have a lot of local uh, residents that come in and eat in the restaurant and use the pub, and they mix great socially with the HS2 operators. And I think that's really important because HS2 is around this area for quite some time. And, you know, people are going to be on this project. Someone has stayed here already for 12 months or more, more, aren't they? There's a reason that they have been here 12 months because um, we do focus on service and comfort for these guys. All about making sure people have got good food and also aren't fatigued because they're, you know, operating on a very busy site down the road, aren't they? That's right, Peter. Yes. Yeah, so on a Sunday, we provide a full Sunday menu. The option of, you know, arriving back here on a Sunday afternoon, evening, relaxing, before having to return to work on a Monday morning, preventing that long journey, perhaps on a Monday morning. Some people wouldn't expect to be able to stay here, would they? I understand some of the operators have been in the industry many, many years, decades perhaps, and um, this experience is new to them. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's very much appreciated. There's a great energy in the hotel with the operators, um, our staff and the, um, and the external local residents that join us, you know, in the evenings. This is the way in which we have to move forward if we're going to attract more people into our industry. And believe you me, we need a lot more operators to come into this sector. And one of the best ways to do that is to look after them, make sure they've got a great bed to sleep in, they've got great food to eat, and they actually have and are part of a community that looks after their well-being, their mental health, and make sure they're ready for work and safe every day.